but it breaks you up from simply playing. It gives you something a little more interesting. So it's a beautiful turnaround, uh, and it's very effective. It gives you a lot of ammunition for 3, 6, 2, 5s. And when you start playing this in all 12 keys, Thank you for joining me everyone for another installment of Daily Exercises. This is Daily Exercise number 12, and in this video I'm going to give you another 3625 turnaround to add to your repertoire and to help you understand how the 3625s function. So let's dive right in. Now this exercise sounds like a lot when you hear it the first time, but it's actually very simple. So let me play the exercise for you. <laughs> So it sounds like a lot, there's a lot of notes happening there, but if we break it down, it's actually pretty simple. So let me give you a little more context. Um, this is in the key of F concert, which is G for tenor players. Uh, and as always, I'm going to give you scale degrees in relation to the chords we're playing over and in relation to the tonal center, and then I'm going to tell you what notes we're playing. So this exercise really is just a minor three arpeggio ascending, and then a dominant six arpeggio descending, and then a minor two arpeggio ascending and then a walk down diatonically from the three of the five to the three of the tonal center. So it's really very simple and it outlines the three, six, two, five uh, very efficiently. So the first, of course, uh, chord is a minor three chord. So if we're in the key of F, the three is A, of course, and you are simply ascending uh, arpeggio, ascending arpeggio of the minor three chord. So that is one, three, five, seven in relation to the three chord, or it is three, five, seven, nine in relation to the tonal center. It's important you make these distinctions. So of course we're in F, so the three of F is A, so that is A, C, E, G. And then after that there's a resolution. You have to end up at the sixth chord. So there's a resolution uh, to get you to the three of the sixth chord, which is where the next arpeggio starts. So after you play this uh, initial arpeggio, you then play the resolution. So what you're doing there is you are arpeggiating the minor two chord, uh, one, three, five, seven, and then you're going back to the five and you're walking chromatically up until you hit the three of the six chord. Um, now the six chord, it's a dominant chord. The six chord in relation to F of course is D. So we have D dominant. And you're walking up chromatically from the five of the three to the three of the six. So you're walking up from E, which is the five of A, up to F sharp, which is the three of D, which is your sixth chord. In relation to the tonal center, you're walking up from the major seven of F, which is E, up to the flat nine of F, which is F sharp, of course, which is the three of six. So it sounds like this. And then you are simply playing a descending arpeggio of a dominant sixth chord. So you're playing three, one, seven, five in relation to your sixth chord which in relation to your tonal center is flat nine, six, five, three. And the notes of course are F sharp, D, C, A. So the first two chords, the three and the six sound like this. Which is an ascending arpeggio of the minor three, resolving to the three of the six, and then a descending dominant arpeggio of the six chord, pretty simple. Now you have to resolve to the two, and all you do is you take a step down from your five of the six or your three of the root and you walk down to the two of your tonal center, which we're in F, the two is G. So you would take a step down from the three, which is A, to G. And then you arpeggiate a minor two chord. So you start on the root of the two chord, and, which is G, and you play one, three, five, seven in G, which in relation to the tonal center is two, four, six, one. Pretty simple, just arpeggiating the minor two chord. So that in relation to the minor two is G, B flat, D, F. And then you are resolving, you're taking a step down to the three of the five or the seven of the tonal center, which is E. And you are simply walking down diatonically from the three of the five to the six of the five or from the seven of the root to the three of the tonal center. So you are playing uh, three, two, one, seven, six in relation to the five, or seven, six, five, three, or seven, six, five, four, three, excuse me, in relation to the tonal center. So the second part of this, like I said, is a minor arpeggio and then a diatonic walk down. It sounds like this. Once again, starting on the minor two, so starting on G. It's really 
an elegant, beautiful turnaround, and it outlines these chord changes very efficiently with just uh, one simple turnaround that pulls you out of the key and gives you some color tones, which is the three of the six chord, obviously, which is not diatonic to F. So the whole exercise, I'm going to play it slow and then fast, sounds like this. Now you'll notice the rhythm uh, was not accurate when I played it slow. This is what it sounds like when you're playing it uh, at tempo and how the rhythm should be played. You can hear that first part uh, is 16th note triplet and then 16th notes leading you to the, um, to the three of the six, however you want to think about it, um, depending on how you play it rhythmically. But it breaks you up from simply playing. It gives you something a little more interesting. So it's a beautiful turnaround uh, and it's very effective. It gives you a lot of ammunition for 3, 6, 2, 5s. And when you start playing this in all 12 keys, you start to see how uh, the 3, 6, 2, 5s function. It's very efficient at showing that because you're simply outlining the chord changes. Um, and uh, it shows you how they're related. When you start playing these, you start seeing, all right, when I'm playing a 3 to a 6 and then a 2 to a 5, what notes are changing and what notes are staying the same? What uh, notes can be used as color tones and what notes are going to be part of the scale. What notes are part of the chord and what notes are part of the tonal center we're in so they're not as effective when I'm trying to play a 3, 6, 2, 5. So it's a very efficient exercise and like I said, once you start playing it in a couple of keys, it starts to make a lot of sense theoretically. So there you have it. That's daily exercise number 12. It's a nice 3, 6, 2, 5 turnaround you can add to your repertoire uh, and it helps you understand 3, 6, 2, 5 turnarounds uh, just a little bit better. So thank you for joining me uh, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or uh, I'd like to know if you found me from social media or if you found me organically on YouTube. Um, uh, thank you for joining me. As always, smash the like button and I'll see you all in the next one.